this morning, we're going to hear from New York City leaders about the upcoming stretch of extreme heat, making it feel like it's in the triple digits outside. The dangerous conditions expected to be the first heat wave this year. The city taking precautions to keep you and your family safe. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller live in downtown Brooklyn with more on how we can stay safe. Derek. Charlene, it is not tornadoes, it's not hurricanes. The deadliest form of extreme weather is actually the heat. And so that's why the city is going to be laying out its plan later this morning to try and keep people safe today. And that starts with about 500 cooling centers open today through Saturday. The city is also partnering with several Petco stores to give you and your pets a break. Also, intermediate and Olympic sized public pools will be open an extra hour until 8 p.m. If you do not have air conditioning inside, your apartment, you really need to get out of there today. Those cooling centers have air conditioning and water, and you can find a map of their locations on our homepage right now at abc7ny.com. And also take a look at this, showing some of the effects of the, that this dangerous heat and humidity can have on your body. It's something to also be mindful of if you're planning on doing any exercise outside. Consider taking the workout indoors or maybe just taking the day off from the workout routine instead because this is some serious heat. Now here in downtown Brooklyn later this morning, we're sitting outside the Office of Emergency Management and they're going to be having a press conference to talk about the precautions that they're taking and what they want other people to take coming up this morning at 8 a.m. Reporting live here in Brooklyn, Derek Waller, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Derek, thank you for that and stay with Eyewitness News as we track the weather conditions. We have the information you need to know at ABC 7 NY. There you will also find a map listing the locations of cooling centers in New York City and you can stay on top of the temperatures even on the go. This morning cleanup continues.